take these in. Set in heaven, take one. Happy days. Take one. for virtually every possible shopping interest. Fishton Street is uh, my home. And we're in the most beautiful building in Salisbury. I think it's a Victorian butcher's shop with uh, stained glass windows and um, cool pottery tiles. And it's just great. It's a really friendly, happy street, and uh, it's great to be here. It's a street full of independent shops, so the variety of stuff going on in Fisher Street is quite cool. Pretty much everyone on the street that's an independent was straight in. How you doing? Do you want to be part of the Fisherton Street Independent Traders Association? Uh, which is really cool. Uh, it works really well. Unlike the old George Mount, which doesn't have that at all. Still, we often get people coming in asking if we sell tables and chairs, which we find quite amusing. Music, because we have <laughs> lots of tables and, and chairs. And these are the same tables and chairs that we've had for 11 and a half years, and people still want to buy them. So I think it's quite good. They had a, lot of, a lot of bashing, a lot of parties, a lot of abuse. Yeah. There's lots of luxury around, but people ask about the tables and chairs, so yes. So, <laughs> so one day we might sell them, <laughs> but we're really desperate. <laughs> Made some good friends working in Fisherton Street. The girls I work with, of course, are very good, made friends with those, and uh, had some quite valuable things in, dresses and things, which have uh, been and you know, shops on the street as well just have individual uh, knowledge of what they do instead of just being a copy of every other town. That is uh, quite a unique street, and this is what draws a lot of people to us. It is the perfect street for an independent business. Somebody like us who is very unique, and generally, there, there isn't another business anywhere near like it. This is a good street. friendly to each other uh, because we're all facing similar problems but equally because they're all, all their own businesses uh, you usually find that people go the extra mile for the customer as well. The community spirit has been amazing. We were astonished at how people try to rally around, help each other, um, use each other's shops rather than nip into town and go to a pound shop or you know, go to buy a tool from tea tools or um, change the opticians, so using the opticians on this street. I used to help a lot with the playhouse too. They wanted a uh, wrench for a, a play which was supposed to hit someone over the head with and they couldn't use a proper one because it probably damaged the poor play. So I, I cut one the same and they painted it up colour and they use that. We've got one or two characters that come in, but on the whole it's pretty sort of steady. There's too many takeaways in Fishing Street. I think there should be a few more traditional shops. I did have a, a couple of old ladies came in a couple of years ago. Say in the mid mid nineties, they were very very old, and they said that they'd bought all their bedroom furniture. They were sisters. They bought it from cases, which was which was absolutely brilliant. They come back again, and I said, you know, when did you buy it? Was it recently? And they said, well, fairly recently. And they had a little con flat and decided it was nineteen forty six. Um, and I didn't say anything. And then one of the sisters turned around to me and said, actually, I think it was you who served us. Now, I'm, 
I know I'm not wearing, wearing very well, but that would make me about 96 as well. I had a couple come up from Somerset Park outside with a disabled sticker on outside so they could park anyway. Um, I managed to talk him into buying a table and chairs, and he said, uh, um, how the hell am I going to get that home? I had a trailer out the front, and I saw the bloke had a tow bar on his trailer, so I sold him the trailer, put the table and chairs in the trailer, and off he went. And I sold him that Billy Scooter for his Mrs. Ellen, at the same time. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Then he come round and have a look round. Everybody knows everybody else, everybody helps everybody else out, which I think is something that we're missing, frankly, socially and in towns and cities particularly, which is very evident in this street. Fishing Street is a, a very special street. Everyone made us feel very welcome from day one. Um, without doubt, that's the best thing. I'm now uh, 76, uh, I decided it was time to retire, uh, which means that uh, all this is uh, up for sale and I won't be able to trade in public. Uh, anything people want, I will do my best to make it.